It's hard to believe that the concept for the current 2023 Chrysler 300C came out 19 years ago in 2003 and it's still in production. Actually, they just ended production and 2023 is going to be the last model year for the Chrysler 300, which in my opinion is a design legend. This is a proper American sedan with proper sedan proportions and the powertrain to go with it with the graphics as well. So what I want to do in this video is show you why I think just the average Chrysler 300 is indeed a very, very special car because I'm going to show you the concept from 2003, the production version 2005, and then compare it to the 2023 model year. It's just amazing that this has been in production for this long and unfortunately is going out of production and we don't really have a clear successor to this. So first of all, let's have a look at this um, great article by Autoblog written by Greg Migliore and let's see what this 2023 model is all about because they did beef it up a little bit. So after a few years of slow, slow sales, and solid yet unspectacular power, Chrysler restored the 300C to the lineup, complete with a 6.4 liter V8 and its 485 horsepower. Not bad. However, just 2,000 300Cs uh, will, will be produced for the 2023 model year. After that, the 300 as we know it is done. The entire run of 2,000 cars sold out in just 12 hours. I think... I have a feeling that the 2023 300C is going to be a collectible and is actually going to hold its value, maybe even appreciate as time goes on and we don't see these big V8s anymore. This is the 392 cubic inch Hoolian offered in the Dodge Scat Packs. 0 to 60 takes 4.3 seconds. Stellantis simply didn't have enough Hellcat engines to go around to further boost the 300. They want to put the Hellcat engine in there for the last 2023 model, which would be absolutely fantastic, but they just didn't have enough engines to do that, unfortunately. You also get red four-piston Brembo brakes, a limited slip differential, and black exhaust tips, and it just looks great. I can't wait to jump into the design of this and talk about this. The interior gets carbon fiber accents, huge Laguna leather front seats, Chrysler hasn't invested in or even updated its uh, nominal flagship in years. The door panel materials are middling and the analog speedometer and tachometer gauges are not contemporary, yet not quite retro. So they're sort of in between. Some might call that old school, other might call that charming. I think this interior of the new of the 2023 looks just fine. The 300's exterior design has hardly changed over the years, which is a good thing. It will go down as one of the great stylings of this century. With slab sides, pronounced wheel arches and a big grille. It's exactly how you would sketch a sporty sedan in profile. Greg here, he understand what is going on with this Chrysler design. And he ends this article by saying driving this car is a reminder that the 300 should have a future and i totally agree with that although it's probably most likely not going to be a 6.4 liter v8 like we have in the 2023 model so i want to show you this um a comparison between the concept and the production version so the concept up here it came out in 2003 19 years ago and the underpinnings of the 2023 are exactly the same as the 2003, uh, 2005 production in this case. But what, what makes this such a great car is just have a look. Back in the early 2000s, when you released a concept, uh, the, the uh, expectation was that yes, it's a concept, the production is not going to look anywhere near like the concept. But in this case, you can barely see any changes from this very New York Manhattan style design that we have in the 2003 concept into the production version. Even the wheel size, yes, the wheel size shrank a little bit for the production version. It's probably by, by two inches or something like that. I would definitely uh, prefer to have these larger wheels onto the production version. And honestly, I actually think, I think this is the first time I'm saying this, but I actually think that these chrome wheels 
suit the Chrysler 300 because as I said this is an American sedan with the right proportions it has this almost art deco styling to it New York executive feel to it so let's see if we can even find any uh, changes from the concept to the production version one detail I can see or we talked about the wheels already but if you look down here I, I want to know the reason why they decided to go from two slots right next to the fog lights into just a single slot in the production version i wonder what the argument or the uh, idea behind that change was and then you can see you have maybe i can't barely see if this is an opening down here but in the production version they decided to add this little opening in the lower section for the um, 2005 production model the grill and the face look almost identical i can't see any changes in these uh, designs from the concept to the production and now let's have a look at the 2023 model down here yes it does look a lot like a Lincoln in my opinion but it still has the same vibe and feel as the older Chrysler 300s from the mid 2000s it's such an elegant and beautiful design with all the key graphics located exactly where you expect them to be the headlights are up here we don't have any weird bumper headlights down here the grill has pretty much the same design or outline as we had in the 2003 concept up here and I think this is such a good modernization of this older design because the proportions are still the same you can see in the lower section a lot more modernized lower sections with the fog lights and the intake now being a part of the styling of the graphics instead of just having them be slots in the lower section so have a look at the side view here and this is where the i think that the 300 really shines and in the rear view those are my two favorite views of this car up top again we have the concept from 2003 and have a look at the transition into production and then look at the uh, 2023 the last year of the 300c you can see that the proportions are almost exactly the same this roof line or greenhouse reminds me of a cadillac it could have been a cadillac because it has this clear three box design that we're looking for when we're designing uh, sedans at least if you want to design a classic timeless looking uh, sedan these are the proportions that you want to have and it carried over into the production model same thing here i can barely see any differences between these two even the taillights you have still have intact door handles in the concept itself showing that this concept was 100 percent intended to go pretty fast into production it only took them two years i love everything about this design the the uh, the wider fenders that we have front and rear and how this fender goes in a little bit and intrudes on the shoulder line to create even more emphasis on this wide fender and you can see the wheels here in the concept and we have i think this is probably a base model for the 300c uh, in 2005 because it looks very basic to me looking at the graphics and the trims this could sit a little lower for sure and also we need to switch out these wheels these wheels just don't work for me it doesn't do the overall design justice by having these small wheels onto this car you can see just how much higher up this sits it looks almost like an uh, off-roader by having this ride height that we have in this production version but i love the trunk design clearly defined bumper in the back and we have the same of course box three box design that we have in the concept beautifully done turning this in early 2000s into a production car from the concept that we have up top and this hasn't changed up until uh, you know 2023 they did change uh, some of the key graphics of uh, some of the graphic design in in the 2023 model i actually prefer the front end and the graphics the, the personality that we have in the older 300s compared to the new one because here the the headlights sit a little too far out in the old one they had a clear face just one single plane facing forward and on that plane all the graphics set you don't have any uh, headlights that curves around to the side view while we kind of do have that here if you look at the side view here you can barely see the headlights on the concept and the uh, 2005 model but they changed that up into the 2023 model year to have it be a little bit more fluid in curvatures 
in the front end, which lo still looks good, but I definitely prefer the boxier front end of the previous uh, models. But here you can see we still have the three box design that's been around since 2003, looking absolutely fantastic. And we also have an additional shoulder line now, so added a little bit more styling into this design, but this shoulder line goes parallel with the baseline of the greenhouse, and it's still very sharp, the greenhouse itself. They added a trunk spoiler, which I think adds to this design, specifically when you have it in the sporty trim. And I love the taillight integration and how this line then goes in to the bumper and then comes back in the lower section of the side. So we have a clear line flow in this design. Still think the wheels look maybe a one inch too small and I would also lower this maybe one inch to have it sit properly on the ground. Now having a look at the rear end of the 300 and this is as I said one of my favorite views uh, by far. I love the design and the almost architectural approach that the designers had for the Chrysler 300 back in the day. Up top again you have the concept, have a look at the sharp shoulder line and how it curves into the graphic feature that is the taillight. So the taillight sits within the same surfacing of the rest of the body. Very clean overall. We do have one chamfer at the lower section and then we have a clearly defined bumper with the dual exhaust in the bottom. This is what I'm talking about. It just looks timeless and elegant. And if you were to just update the key graphics of this car, it would make for a great 2023 model. And that is exactly what Chrysler did for 2023. Now, moving into the production version, again, you can clearly see the connection between the concept and how this was clearly intended to go into production pretty fast. We have the same, exact same styling for the rear end like we had in the concept. I can't see any differences between these two. We do have a bit of an M style spoiler on the concept, which would be cool to see on the production version, but I also think it looks good without it because of the overall cleanliness of this design. We still have the two exhaust pipes down here in the middle. So have a look at the refresh with the facelifted 300 and compare that to the production version. This is a very nice great update for the 300 because everything got a little smoother which is just in line with the times that we're in when this uh, facelift came out but we still have the big fenders the front fender st still sticks in into the shoulder line and we have this cut line going into the C pillar nicely done here same thing as we had in the 2005 model but the key graphics as I talked about if you update the concept add some new styling to the graphics it would be a good 2023 model and that's exactly what's going on here because we do have an LED now full LED bar inside of this but the outline for it is still very reminiscent of the 2005 model you can just see how they smoothed out the bumper and the rear section of this but still keeping the same vibe and philosophy as the original looking fantastic and down low we now have the exhaust pipes sitting in an integrated diffuser in the lower section to further have it be more in line with what's going on in today's cars. And last but not least, of course, they added this uh, lip spoiler on the rear end, or maybe even you could call this a duck tail because it got a lot more pronounced than it was up here in the concept. Last but not least, we need to have a look at the interiors because I think this is maybe... This is just as good of an update as the exterior design, I think, for the facelift and the uh, concept and the production version. So we have the concept up top and it looks identical to the production version. Th this does not feel like a concept one bit. In early 2000s, manufacturers created these wild concepts that we knew were never going to go into production, but the 300 concept was definitely not one of these cars, because you can see even the wood trim on top of the steering wheel was carried over to the production version, and this centerpiece dash piece in the middle is exactly the same with the clock right here in the middle, the vents looking exactly similar. The only difference I can see is that we do have some sort of navigation screen, a bigger screen on the concept, while in the production they just shrank that down a little bit and just had a stereo unit here with this AC controls down here. Looking great, practical and functional and that also again carries over to the 2023 model year. This looks like a very cozy 
interior to me. I love the blue gauge cluster. I don't mind one bit that these are analog, the tachometer and the speedometer, because we do have a nicely integrated display right here in the middle, which you can have show whatever information you, you need, customize it as you want. The steering wheel looks fat and sporty, and you have now, of course, an integration of a uh, infotainment screen right here, but the clock is still intact. They redesigned the clock, but they kept the same position of it. And this is one of these, this is sort of the interiors. This is as far as I want technology to push interiors. You can still have analog uh, tachometer and speedometer with the center display, but don't make it into just a sterile environment like we have in a lot of cars today and that more car manufacturers are moving into by just adding screens everywhere without having this nice integration and framing for the different features that we have here. You can see that we still have the classic uh, Stellantis uh, buttons and knobs for the radio and the climate control settings down here, which work perfectly fine we don't need to change this into a software I would rather have it be tactile like this you can also see in this version we do have this carbon fiber inserts that we talked about in the article looking very nice I personally hope that Chrysler will uh, recognize the 300c as a very important model that specifically when it comes to the styling I I, th I hope they keep this boxy shape for their upcoming sedans even though they might be EVs, who knows what the next uh, 300 replacement is going to be. It might even be a crossover SUV because that's happened to so many other unique and iconic models in the past. But with that said, unfortunately, you're too late. You can't buy the 300C anymore. And I am a little bit jealous of the people who got one of these 2000 units that they're going to build in 2023.